Look at me wearing a chuck chat for a video, channeling my inner Phoebe Buffet, Rachel Green, Monica Geller. Come through, 90s. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I've got a bit of a casual setup for you guys here. I just finished filming a beauty haul video and things got pretty sweaty. So I figured I would slow things down for this video and just relax and talk to you guys while drinking chocolate milk from a mug with my boyfriend's face on it. Because let's face it ladies, if you're not drinking milk from a mug with your boyfriend's face, are you even really living? The answer is no. So I wanted to do a quick video today on my review of the Jenny Han series to all the boys I've loved before. You guys know that for my June favorites, I spoke about all three books and how I was super obsessed with it and I was making all of my friends read it. And I kid you not, every single person that I recommended the book to loved it and they ended up reading all three books from the series. So I thought I would sit down and talk to you guys about my thoughts on this super popular, soon to be Netflix movie and let you guys know why I love it. When I bought the first book, I had absolutely no idea what it was about. I never heard anybody talk about it. I just saw it on the bestseller stand in Fully Booked and I was like, you know what I'm craving for like a high school feelsy killig book? That looks cute, I'll give it a try. So I did and literally I could not put it down. Don't worry, no spoilers will be said in this review. I'm gonna make sure to be as non-spoilery as <laughs> Had a term. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys because honestly, even when I was talking to my friends about reading the book, I didn't want to spoil it for them because for me, the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series must be read without any clue as to what's gonna happen. I love it so much and I can literally talk about it for an hour. But I'm not going to. I'm gonna try to keep this video as short as possible despite my intro being three minutes long already. If you guys wanna hear my review of the Jenny Han To All the Boys I've Loved Before series, then please keep watching. First of all, here's the book. This is book number one. I've got books two and three on my bed as well. Book three is currently being used as a coaster for my chocolate milk as it rests on my all white sheets. I know, I am such a daredevil. The story revolves around Lara Jean, who's a high school student. She's half Korean, half American. Asian invasion, Asians rule. Lara Jean is the second of three girls. So their eldest sister's name is Margot and she goes off to Scotland to study. And then it's Lara Jean and then their youngest is Kitty, who by the way is my spirit animal. I love Kitty so much and of course they've got their dad now their dad is a single dad because their mom passed away Don't worry. That's not a spoiler It's in the back cover of the book and it's basically at the start of the book She already explains their family situation So she's basically had five crushes in her entire life and these five boys never knew that she crushed on them Because instead of telling them she would instead write them letters and then keep that letter in an old hat box that her mom gave her These letters literally spilled everything like everything she felt for them why she liked them like a page off of her diary addressed to that boy. Nobody knew about these letters and then one day the letters were sent and all these guys suddenly knew. So basically that's how it goes. All three books sort of revolve around that. She doesn't know who sent them, how the guys got them. Now that you guys know the plot, I thought I'd share with you guys my thoughts slash review on all three books and because I am so dorky, I wrote my review down in my YouTube notebook. I know! <laughs> Profesh. So here are some reasons as to why I love the books and why I think you guys should give the books a shot. Number one, it has great writing. For a book that talks a lot about high school stuff and high school problems, the writing of Jenny Han is spectacular. From the characters to the dialogue to the descriptions to the setting, it's just so well written and I could not stop reading. I could not put the book down. The book was so well written that there were literally moments where I awed. Like I went, ah! I screamed, I got all kilig, I cried. There were parts that were so good, I literally read it again. Right after I read the page, I was like, I have to read it again. So I read it again. That's how good the writing is. Reason number two, it is super relatable. Aside from the fact that it's super cute and it gets you all giddy and killig inside, the story tackles a lot of important issues that I think a lot of people face, especially when they're in high school or sometimes even when they're older. There's bullying involved, unrequited love, long distance, family fights, loss, lies, gossip, rumors. It's all there. Killigness aside, the way that Jenny Han tackles those issues, fantastic. The third reason is it's an easy read 
and it's highly addictive. I'm gonna tell you guys now, just like I told all of the people that I recommended the book to, the books are a commitment. If I knew just how good it was gonna be, I would have gotten all three right away. So if I were you, if this is your kind of genre, if this is your kind of thing, if you watch the Netflix trailer and you think it's something that you're gonna like but you wanna read the book first, buy all three. Because seriously, the first book ends in such a cliffhanger, you're gonna want book two like right away. And the last reason why I love the books and why I think you should give them a try as well, Peter Kavinsky. That's all I'm gonna say. If you've read the book, you know what I'm talking about. He's so cute and ah, he's perfect. And there you guys have it. My quick review slash reasons why I love the series to all the boys I've loved before. Again, if it's a book that you guys have been thinking about reading, I highly suggest you do. It's just such a good read. You'll enjoy it. It's got all the high school feels, all the killing lines, all the sad lines. It's just such a good book. And again, if you guys didn't know, Netflix is actually coming out with a movie. Yep, it's coming out on August 17. I'm not being paid to say this. I'm just really excited. I'll leave links to the two trailers. The first one is a teaser trailer and the second one is the official trailer. I'll leave them linked in the description box down below because not gonna lie guys, I have watched those trailers over 10 times each. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment down below if you've read to all the boys I've loved before or if you're excited for the Netflix movie. I would love to know and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!